What's up, Tiger Nation? Steve Leslie, YSNlive.com. Another Tuesday night at the Tigers table. First of all, I want to thank Dee and Jackie for all their support to all of us at YSN. The hospitality is amazing. The food is fantastic. And the crowd here each and every week continues to get bigger and better. Come on down every Tuesday night to the Tigers table for the Springfield Tigers show. I'm Steve Leslie again. I want to introduce my partner, Noah Doty. He does it all, folks. Like, I get to sit over here and ask questions and do those things. All the things you see on our social media sites, Noah goes home and gets them posted. So, brother, shout out to you again um, for all you do for all of us at YSN. But it's senior player profile time. The players are here. The families are here. Fans, how about a hand for senior Isaac LaMorticella? How's that feel when you get a when you get an, an ovation like that? Let's good. start there. That feels good. Oh, yeah. Brings a smile to your face. I, I love the smile. Number one, I love. We talk about it here at Springfield. We talked about it last week. Uh, I love the flow of some of the Tigers here in Tiger Nation. But you, my friend, have quite an entourage here for Tiger Nation. Um, we talked off air. Isaac gets to talk about his family. And you get to introduce them all here on YSN. All so right. it's all yours. That's my mom right there. Okay. Uh, my dad, my grandma, my puppet Jeff, um, my sister's boyfriend Dylan, my other sister, her boyfriend Dylan. And um, wait, 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 wait a second. So you have two sisters. Yeah. And two Dylans. Yeah. <laughs> Dylan, nice to meet you. Coach. Dylan here, yeah. good baseball player, no doubt. Yeah, he was no doubt. And how about right here? It's my little brother, Jacob. Your little brother, Jacob. Yeah. No, we haven't done this on YSN. Um, but before we bring Jacob up here, you talk about grandparents. Yeah. Do you know how lucky you are for anybody to have grandparents to come to a game, grandparents to come to a meal, grandparents to do things? That's a special, special thing that not every player, not every athlete gets to do. Yeah. That has to be special for you. Oh, it is special. You know, very blessed. To Absolutely. Have them with you. Absolutely to be blessed. Yeah. Um, so on game night, do you know where they're all at? I, I have to believe, knowing this group, <laughs> that you could hear them on game I night. I do. Yes, I know where they're at. Well, let's keep it up Friday night. I'll be up above you, so I want to hear the La Morticella family uh, cheering section get it going you're a wide receiver in db we'll get into that jacob come on up here for one second so we can get you on a ysn i want you to hold your brother here oh he's wrapped in the cord he's wrapped in the cord folks this is jacob jacob how are you you give fives do you five, you bro. can play with the board he's good give him knuckles give me knuckles hey give as him knuckles. we get a win i love it Folks, you could see where the flow comes from the LaMorticella family. I, I'm going to end the family portion with this 20 months. Yeah. Around, okay. Yeah. So, again, I talked about grandparents. Do you understand the role model that you are right now for him? Yeah, I do. No, What's that mean? I know it, it means a lot to know someone that's like you know looking up to you. He's always going to be there for you, no doubt. I love it. He loves pens. He's my kind of guy. He's hands on, folks. I, I just wanted to do that. I know your family is important to you. Give me some knuckles before you go, Jacob. Knuckles one more time. Give him knucks. Give me some knucks. Hey, give him knuckles. All right, that a baby. All right. How about a hand for the star of the show right here? Come on over here. How about a hand for Jacob? Thank you. Again, shout out to your family. Um, enjoy a senior year. You know that it goes fast. That's my next question. Do you? Can, is it hard to believe that I'm a senior? It's week two now. Talk about that. You know, definitely goes a lot faster than you realize. You know, it, it comes up pretty quick. But um, you know, I just remember being little Tigers. My dad coaching me growing up. You know, junior high and everything. And now it's just like now this is it. Like. I have nine more games guaranteed. So That's it. 
I love that you it. said nine more guarantee because there's no guarantee. Yeah. You're guaranteed to play ten. That's the guarantee you get as a senior. I think this football team is going to get better and better every week and get more than ten. Uh, I think that the goals are we talk about your goal, your team goals, win a league, get a home playoff game. Those things are still out in front of you. What's it mean to see all these guys out here supporting every week, folks? This team comes out and supports who's ever on the mic with me. Talk about this football team, this senior group, and how close you guys are. It's it's really special. You know, we, we grew up together. We be, we play football with each other for like the past ten years. Absolutely. And you know, so we're not open enrollment. So we are like with each other all the time, off the field, on the field. And it, it, it's something special to have, knowing that you have that many buddies with you. No question. I, I got to ask this. Is it – being on a team is special. Being at practice is special. Being in games is special. But special moments come when families aren't around, when it's just you guys. Are there those moments where you guys could just go be – and I say it all the time. I said it to my kids. They're older now. You get to be – how old are you, 17, 18? I'm 18. 18. You get to be 18 one time. That's it. There's yeah. no do-overs. Do you guys ever enjoy the moment of just being 18? Yeah. Okay, so what are we doing? We'll keep this – what are we doing on a night where we all hang out together? Um, just hang out, listen to music, mess okay. around with each other a little bit, play some uh, NCAA all right. little tournament. NC- yeah, I think my son gets married in – 14 days and he still makes sure that he has the new what it playstation 5 right mm-hmm. nca 25 create your own teams yeah. like um so that's special do that as much as you can because these guys will be the your friends for the rest of your life with isaac lamore to sell a senior player profile at the Tigers table, want to thank Dee and Jackie again for all they do. Folks, I'm going to say it. The food is fantastic. I cannot wait to finish this and eat. Dylan over there had chicken parm that can feed folks the whole table for the Lamore to sell us. That's <laughs> how big that portion is. Looking forward to them. Come on down to the Tigers table. If you can't make the game Friday night, check it out on YSNlive.com slash Springfield, Chris Sigler will be on the call, and I'll be on myself also with him looking forward to that. And come on down and hopefully celebrate a Tiger victory here at the Tigers table Friday night. Go back to Friday night. I'm going to take you back. You're on the bus now. You just get beat by a very, very good football team. There's no let, – let, let's – yes, last week I said you're going to win. Folks, I'm going to be re- – I'm a Springfield Tiger fan. I do the Springfield Tigers show. So, obviously, I'm going to say Springfield is going to win. Um, now you're on the bus. It's got to be, number one, a long bus ride home. Yeah. Talk about it. You know, it's you kind of, like, think to yourself, like, like that game's over with. You know, get in the film room, watch film, fix your mistakes. Sure. Get on the field and just, just get better. Yeah, okay. So, you go to films, what, Saturday? Talked with Coach Greer. We'll have him on right after this. All these mistakes, folks, are mental, which let's remember they're high school kids. They're 15, 16, 17, and 18. Are there mistakes? Yeah, there's always going to be mistakes. But they're correctable. Yeah. So now you go into this week. Have you seen some of the corrections here, Monday practice, Tuesday practice? Yeah. They're, they're definitely getting cleaned up. But, you know, it's, there's always stuff to clean sure, up. Sure, absolutely. Whether, That's a good answer. So you st- just keep working, keep watching film, and just, you know. Yeah. I talked with Matt. If anybody has not noticed, it's really hot. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, really hot. Like, I uh, kind of wish they had a pool out here on the side and we could all jump in over that. How has that been, practice this week in the heat? Um, girl actually let us go in shorts the past two days, so kind of helped us out a little bit. Where's he at? Shorts? Yeah. I wouldn't make it whether it was shorts or <laughs> just a helmet. Well, it's definitely rough. Yeah, it's rough, no doubt. Um, you have to hydrate yourself. You have to prepare your body. And and I think that obviously it's going to be 90 again Friday on the night you play. So this isn't going away anytime fast. So uh, I'm sure you've had all those types of things. I also asked Matt 
about The Rock? What What's Isaac's love and memories of The Rock? You know, it, it's special. You know, you go back to The Rock after a hard game, you know, all banged up, bruised, and go on The Rock, celebrate with your teammates, knowing that you guys just got to win. It, it, it's special. So It's going to be special. Hopefully Friday night uh, they get a win. So I'm going to ask you this, Isaac. Um, what's going to be the difference between – a junior rock victory and Friday night's senior rock victory. Well, being a senior, you you know you paint your number on it. So when you, when you jump up on the rock, it's like 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 this this is your time to you know celebrate. It. Like this is it. That's so it. gotta enjoy it. Yeah, you you get one senior year to to do this. I love that answer. Hopefully, all the seniors put that number on the rock. Um, we have a lot of great stadiums in our area, no question. I've watched, I've called some games at Springfield. Describe to me the feeling coming out on the field in front of all your fans at a beautiful, beautiful stadium on Friday night. The community is amazing. The, the atmosphere of walking out of the locker room, we're all hived up, arms are locked, and you just look up in the stands, it's just completely filled. Do you get a chance to look at that? Yeah. Okay. I love it. And we'll have some music blaring, I'm sure. Um, it'll be a, an environment. Mick is in charge of the music for <laughs> pre and post game or no? Yeah, no. No. Okay. Well, that's a story for another time, YSN Nation. But with Isaac Lamore to sell a senior player profile as they get ready for week two. Fans, how about a hand for all yourselves for coming tonight with this great, great crowd uh, again at the Tigers table. Cannot thank D and Jackie enough. The food is fantastic. My boy Noah over here, and I get to interview some of the best student athletes that we have in our area, no question. All right, you ready? Yeah. Rapid fire. It's Friday night. It's about when you get a chance to be kind of like by yourself. 5.30-ish, out around. All right, so it's 5.30. Isaac's getting ready to play his first senior home game. What are you listening to to pump you up? Um, rap, but also a little bit of Pantera. Who? Pantera. Pantera. All right, spell that. P-A. P-A-N-T-R-E-A, I'm pretty sure. Folks, I'm going to have to check this. I, I'm, I'm like 70s, like serious XM, 70s, 80s. We'll go with Pantera. Uh, does that get you ready to play? Oh, that gets you pretty pumped up. So so you named your favorite music. God bless you to that. Um any superstition on game night? Something you do that you try to do every week? No, not really. Just basically just prepare myself. Prepare? Just There's no, like, I have to wear this pair of sock or this? No? Not really. I mean. Tape? Tape, yeah. Turf okay. tape. But turf that's tape. Pretty much it. All right. So, uh, role models. I, I just told you to be a role model for a 20-month-old 20 20 little brother. You're a role model, but you have such a, a, a great connection with your family. I don't want to put you on the spot, <laughs> but I'm going to put you on the spot. That's all right. You have a girlfriend? I do not. Smart man. Smart man. Um, so when this doesn't work, because we cannot all live without this, I'm just as bad with it. When you can't get your answer there, you can't get your answer from anybody at school, and you're having a rotten day. Which family member is your go-to? Probably my dad. All right. Shout out to you, Dad. Yeah, shout out to you. Um, isn't that a special thing? Bond between mom and, and, and son, no better. But the bond that I had with my father and the bond that you have, sometimes I think that gets left on the side. But shout out to both of your parents. And someday – Dad's giving you advice on a bad day. He's going to be pre-kindergarten or wherever he's going. He, he, I love the hair again. I, I have to say it. Like, But he's going to have a bad day, and he's coming to you. Mm -hmm. So shout out to your family, no doubt, for that. Um, favorite college football team? Ohio State. Ohio State plays the Akron University. Um, boy, I think if you want to watch that, turn it on. 3.30 really fast. 
because by like 4.15, that could be – we need a national championship. Is that fair to say? Yeah. Uh, yeah. I, we need to beat those guys over there. I don't even like saying their name. I have friends that I've had to listen to. You get so used to – you're, what, 18 years yeah. old? So Ohio State's beat Michigan pretty much his whole life. This is – we're in uncharted waters here for the last two or three. We need to beat them. Yeah. All right, so your favorite pro football team is – Dallas Cowboys. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. Where, where did that come from? Ever since I my, – well, my that, dad. Ever since, ever since I've grown up. Dallas Cowboys. All right, Dallas fans, you have a free victory to open the NFL season. I'm a Browns fan. You, We haven't won an opener, I think, one time in 50-some years. So, who's your favorite Cowboy player? C.D. Lamb. C.D. Lamb. Well, well, well. Wide receiver, defensive back, C.D. Lamb. So, it's safe to say C.D. Lamb just signed for $136 million. See, so my take on this would be C.D. Lamb didn't really – that offer was probably there four weeks ago, but it was 90 out, and he really didn't want to practice until we get close to game week. Now I'll sign my contract. And I'll play. High school kids don't get those opportunities to pick and choose when you want to practice. But C.D. Lamb is one of the best receivers. Do you learn anything watching him? A little bit, yeah. All Definitely right. some of um, like his releases. Sure. But. All right, so wide receiver, defensive back, what's your favorite? Uh, DB. Wow. All right, so defense wins championships, obviously. Talk about this defense. We're, I think we have a really strong defense this year. Um, a lot of experience coming back from last year and the year before that even. So, Yeah, it's a good defense. It's going to improve, no doubt. I said in the beginning of the show, we move on to week two as Brookfield comes to town Friday night. Chris Sigler and myself will have it for you on YSNlive.com slash Springfield if you want to watch it. I want you to watch it, but I also want you to be there, so bring that lovely cell phone with you but i also would like you to come on over to the tigers table for a great meal before or after the tigers win their first senior home game to hopefully improve that record to one-on-one come on over to the tigers table they will be here till 11 o'clock isaac's favorite class at springfield has been jesus at workshop but it's workshop. I, I got I know. I, I can't even do it anymore. He doesn't teach it. I just, for three uh, years I've done a show here, and for every player it's woodshop. All right, so I'm going to really put you on the spot. You get a chance to shout out your favorite teacher at Springfield, and it is not Sean Guerrero. Uh, Mr. Toy. Mr. Toy. Yeah. All right, so Mr. Toy, shout out to you for all you do for the Tiger athletes and all the students at Springfield. How's your senior schedule looking? Um, pretty good. It's, it's you know normal. Normal schedule. Yeah. Getting ready to to graduate at the end of the year. I asked uh, uh, Matt at the end what Matt sees himself doing after you go through your senior year. Play any other sports? Uh, basketball, basketball, and track. And track so, whew, you don't stop. No. Track is really good. If I'm I'm correct, you're one of those four by four guys. Yeah. Okay, so why is that? I'm sure, Noah, we'll we'll get to some daytime I-40 on, like, a sundial and and those types. What's your favorite of the three, I guess, basketball, track, football? Or is it I love what I'm doing and that's what I'm with? I feel like it's just, like, whatever sport I'm in, that's what I love doing. Okay, that's a good answer. And I I will say this as a coach. I will say this as a guy that announces YSU football. I'll say it as a guy at YSN. I have college, I have high school buddies that are college football coaches, Mark Stoops, Vince Marl, those guys, folks, and athletes. Play as many sports as you can because you get to be four years in high school one time, and if you're good enough to play those sports, they will find you. So what's the atmosphere going to be like for you Friday night to hopefully walk off and, and see your family Hopefully, getting that first victory Friday night. Oh, uh, good. You know, um, like right before we uh, 
say our little motive before we run out of the the paper. It you, you just like take a quick like look up and it's just like well that's a lot of people like a lot of people especially just supporting us supporting do, do yeah. you do you know where the, do you make any eye contact with it do you do anything in general with them before the game starts yeah well when we run out before we get a break i, I look up I and make sure you look up, up because you got you got a full force of fans that love you almost he's got i'm gonna say jacob's got tailback written all over him yeah, that or D-line. No, he's not going. Well, if he eats that chicken parm, <laughs> it could be D-line, no question. But that's a big feeling. I, I know how special it is to run in that stadium. I'll end it with you with this. I, I like coming here because if you don't talk about wanting to win a state championship, then I, I you shouldn't put in all the time that you do to do this. But state championships aren't handed out. They're not given. They're earned. Um, I talked last week. We tied three-way tie for the league title. I know one of the goals is is to win the league championship, to get some home playoff games, to hopefully win a state championship. For you, when it's all said and done, how do you want this to play out for it to be final for you? Just making a run in the playoffs. Just take it week by week and see how far we can get. That's one of the things that I think that I admire about this group, the group that comes here every week and supports. It's one week at a time. Week one is over. We're on to week two. They're doing everything they can, Tiger fans. They, this team deserves a big turnout Friday night. I can say that. A student body, if you watch these on our sites, which we – come on out and support them. A lot of people at Springfield right now are swimming tomorrow when it's 95 or are doing things. These gentlemen are on a football field getting prepared for the game. Come out and support them. Another one. How about a hand for Isaac Lamorticella? Another fantastic interview. I, I wish you nothing but the very best. For number one, for the group of guys that clap for you. Number two, for yourself as an individual with all your goals. But my goodness, truly a family that come out here in full force. Enjoy every second of that, every sport you play, and best Thank of luck. Thank you. I appreciate right, it. Thanks.